Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I'm glad you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. Now, I was going through some Twitter posting and then I came across a posting from Kenyans.co.ke that is a Twitter handler. And in this tweet, there is a video that has been captioned with the word when Kenya is peaceful, I don't have much to say, DP Gachagua's 40-second speech. There is an event, uh, a social protector co protection conference that is taking place uh, at the moment here in Kenya. And the event was attended by a house of governors, the deputy president, the president, and some delegation. So in this conference, it was expected that Gachagua would uh, present his speech as the deputy president, a speech that would have lasted probably like two to three minutes or rather ten minutes. But what is shocking is that Gachagua could not deliver any speech. He could not. What he did ex was basically just greet the people and welcome the president. It is contrary to previously when Raila Molodinga was piling pressure on the government, that is the time the Chago used to talk a lot. So this occurrence, all this, every, uh, all this event has exposed the Chago to being, to being someone who was only, whose agenda was only Raila Amolo Odinga. In this conference, I spotted Atoli in attendance, but the focus is not on Atoli. The focus is on the fact that Gachago could not deliver his speech. Before we get deep into the remarks that Gachagua uh, uh, used to say how why he can't deliver the speech, kindly take a moment and subscribe to this channel. Now, let us start by sharing this video so that you can understand what we are about to talk about. So, take a moment and listen to this video. Your Excellency, the President the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto, CS Labor and Social Protection, our international partners, the leaders of the labor movement, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Your Excellency, I don't have much to say today. When Kenya is peaceful, business is uninterrupted, and Kenyans are busy. I don't have much to say. It is now my privilege to ask you to be upstanding as I welcome the President of the Republic of Kenya, President William Ruto. So from that video, Gachagua is saying that when, in a nutshell, that Okati Akuna Mandamanu, he has nothing to say. What does that mean? I remember Gachagua used to wake up at 5 used to report to office at 5 a.m. in the morning. For the last one week, that is the time Gachago used to report. I even saw a picture yesterday of Gachago reporting at 5 a.m. in the morning. Someone shared that video with me. So the question here I have is this. Could it be that Kazi Ambao Gachago liko nao iliko ni moja tu kupigia Raila Mulo Dinga, kupigia watu wa maandamano, kupigia protesters, people are uh, protesting peacefully? Because if you lose, listen to that speech, you listen to, this, to the wording in that speech carefully, and uh, let, me, let me repeat it again. Just, just listen this part. Your Excellency, I don't have much to say today. When Kenya is peaceful, business is uninterrupted, and Kenyans are busy. I don't have much to say. Yes, from that speech, you can tell that what Gachago is still trying to say is that Ikiwa hakuna maandamano, I have nothing to say. This confirms the fact that we've said in this channel that the biggest assignment of Gachagua ilikuwa ni beating Raila Amolo Dinga, of course, with words. So that has confirmed, and he has confirmed it by himself when he could not even deliver a speech. The expectations of that conference was that he would give some issues on, uh, uh, you know, social protection, you know, those kind of policies. So I've, I've stumbled upon several responses 
to uh, this uh, Gachagua's inability to deliver a speech, someone said, when Kenya is peaceful and wo and one, then you lose the agenda. Because agenda, you know, best is Odinga and Azimio and Lewis. That is what one Twitter handle by the name Balaseth said. I've seen another tweet, you know, from uh, Joel. That's another Twitter handle. He says, See, Ati, when Kenya is peaceful, you have nothing to say. Raila Odinga gives you content. So, another tweet handle by the name Bravin Yuri said, Kama siyo Raila, watu wengi kweli yaonge kuwa na kazi. So, there's another one by the name Kadafi says, He don't, he don't have what? Since when? Probably this responses have, that I've read only confirms what I've been saying that the biggest role that Raila that that Rigathi Gachagua Zole has had is fighting Raila Odinga. I also saw a posting. I saw a message from uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly. He said that he was making a, refer a reference to. Uh, that Raila should first of all acknowledge that Ruto is a legitimate president before them sitting down on a bipartisan approach. What that means is that Wetangula, who is the speaker, is likely to frustrate uh, the, the activities of bipartisan committee because he has make, made demands that first of all Raila has to acknowledge that uh, Ruto is a legitimate president. Now, this is being hardliner. And I think one of those people who have been adliners ni Wetangula. I remember Wetangula in 2007 during the Kibaki and Raila uh, scuffle. Wetangula was one of the hardliners back then. I remember seeing him because that time he's the one who used to push and he was the one who was uh, picked to represent that faction of Kibaki, the faction that was negotiating with the faction of Raila Molodinga on a truce. So Wetangula was one of those people. So I think this remarks has just confirmed the same that he is also one of the hardliners who have been pushing Ruto not to accept the reality on the ground. So ladies and gentlemen, kindly share what your observations are below the comment section. And once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis.